So we're going to take a look at authenticating our Zoom accounts. And this is something that we need to do in grades 3 through 5 before you start joining Zoom meetings. But it also has to be done sometimes after the program itself updates. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate the Zoom program on our desktop. Now, if you don't see it on your desktop, it may be listed in your programs if you click on the Windows icon in the lower left-hand corner. But I'm going to open up Zoom. And if you are already signed in, but it's not an authenticated account, you're going to want to log out of that account. And what we're going to do is look at this screen right here. We're going to click Sign In. And I know it's tempting to sign in with your Office 365 email and password because that's typically what we do for most applications. But to authenticate our account, we need to sign in with SSO. So make sure you're signing in with SSO. Now when you get to the next screen, it's going to ask for our company domain. Our company domain is pwcs-zm-edu. And then they automatically put this .zoom.us in this box. And we're going to click Continue. A couple of things you're going to notice on this is that it force opens my web browser because it's going to ask me to log into my Office 365 account. Now, if you notice that the web browser it opens is Microsoft Edge and not Google Chrome, then you're going to want to change your default web browser to Google Chrome. And that'll be in a separate video. But you'll know because right here I can see Google Chrome is opened. And if it was Microsoft Edge, it would be opening this program right here. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in using my Office 365 credentials. And then you'll notice it asks if I want to launch Zoom, and it did so automatically. And here I have the Zoom home screen from the desktop point of view. Now you'll notice if I hover over here, mine has my picture. Yours may say the initials. And it also lets me know um, that I'm using my Prince William County email address. So that's it. And that's going to be um, how you make sure that your account is authenticated.